Okay, we're going to review some basic facts of HIV and AIDS, but we're going to do this in a myth and fact game. And so you don't have to get up or move, just I'm going to read you the statement and a person raise their hand and say whether or not it's a myth, something fictional, or if it's a fact, something that's true, and then also tell us why. The first one is HIV is the virus that causes AIDS. Myth or fact? Why is it a fact? Thank you very much. Okay. The next one is you can get HIV by drinking from a glass used by someone who has HIV. False. Why is it false? Very good. You guys know some information. Okay, next, HIV is spread by kissing. One person. Saliva does not carry enough in it. Very good. You can get HIV from giving blood. <laughs> okay, this is a false fact. When HIV, a false fact, this is a myth. When HIV first came into, um, you know, the media and all that good stuff, um, it wasn't fully tested and blood transfusions and all of that stuff, we didn't really know. Just like for anything that we go through in the world outside, we don't really know. So there are tests that go through that prove that it is or it isn't. So at the beginning when HIV and AIDS was first discovered, there was a very, very small inkling sliver chance that you can get HIV from blood transfusions, blood donations, etc. But now because we are so techno technologically advantaged and modernized with our medicine and our equipment and sterilization, etc., we have drastically reduced that little small inkling of a percentage of getting blood through HIV through a blood transfusion blood donation, et cetera. So that, an actu that actually is a, a myth. So it, it doesn't happen anymore at all, okay? And if you have questions about anything that we talk to, we are open to talk to you after the presentation. And also um, email, we can give you some resources that you can look into. The next one, someone who has HIV but looks and feels healthy can still infect other people. Myth or fact? Fact, someone talk to me. Fact, why? I feel good. I look I looks good. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> they can look good, but like it's like if you like that person and they look good, you can eventually have sex with you and get it too. Right. Very good. Furthermore, when a person has HIV or AIDS, you, they also go through different processes of AIDS, HIV. They go through opportunistic infections and full-blown infections, and that's when they can get something simple as a cold, but you don't really know. And so that's why it's important for people who, that are sexually active to always get tested. Get tested. It was first recommended that you get tested once every six months, and now it's once every three months. So also keep that in mind. The risk of getting HIV from a blood transfusion these days is extremely low. Fact or myth? Great. Okay. Drinking alcohol can increase the risk of getting HIV. I'm sorry. I hear a myth. Myth. Why? It's a fact. Why? So if she said if you get drunk, then, you know, and you're not in your right mind, you may have unprotected sex with somebody you don't even know. That was cute when you was drunk, but ain't too no. Okay. Mosquitoes can spread HIV. True. Who's that true? Who's that true? Who's that true? What? They suck blood, huh? <laughs> Just carrying blood to a trombo, huh? Okay, well, that's false. Because HIV is a human virus, not an insect virus. And, and mosquitoes, they, they would be some busy bad boys if they was just do, 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 do. You might get infected with um, West Nile virus, but not HIV from a mosquito. Good way to speak up. Okay, sharing needles to inject steroids can spread HIV. 
true. I'm sorry, I have a little problem with steroids. It's a Chicago thing. Anyway, using le latex condoms during sex can reduce the risk of getting HIV. False. 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 Ooh, who said it? False. Why? What's that point of it? Why is it false? Because it could break. It could break. But is it 99%? No. No. Is it better than using nothing? Yeah. 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 Is it better than using nothing, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, it can break. It can break. Right. So she, she kind of broke. <laughs> Does everybody understand why that is can be both a myth and fact, but usually mostly a fact? Yes, because condoms, any type of condoms you may a person may use are 99.9, 99.9% effective. But there are those some there are cases that condoms may break or other instances, and so the key thing is to always protect yourself and be aware. Just two more. Taking birth control pills can protect a girl from getting HIV. Myth or fact? Ladies, myth or fact? Myth. Myth or fact? Okay, last one. You can get HIV from a toilet seat. My turn. HIV. What is HIV? What does it stand for? H I and V. I got one back there. Say it up. Hyperactive. Hyper I mean, <laughs> that's A D D. No, I'm slaying. HIV. Human. Immuno. No, immune. I was giving you a immunodeficiency virus. Is that what you said? Yeah. Yep, that's it. <laughs> HIV is human immunodeficiency virus. H, the I, the V. What's AIDS? What does AIDS stand for? I'm sorry, I can't hear. Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome. Good, it's like y'all know something. Y'all right? It's just reviewing. HIV is a virus that causes... I'm sorry, I can't hear you. A uh, what? AIDS. What? AIDS. I'm just playing. <laughs> AIDS, that's right. When you are infected with HIV, you're HIV positive. Um, there's no such thing as like full-blown AIDS. You might think about Magic Johnson, oh, he don't have it no more. That's a myth, because he's infected with HIV. He's HIV positive. He has a lot of money, so he can go overseas and get all of the drugs that they don't have here that FDA has not approved yet. So he has money. So he can work out every day and keep healthy and have a good eating habits and whatnot. He has money. He's still infected. Went to a conference in Lansing. His mother said, don't believe the hype. He's still infected with HIV. He looks good, but he's still infected with HIV. You, when your T cell count, which are white blood cells, correct, T cell count gets below 200. That's when you, that's when some, a physician diagnoses you with AIDS. I have met somebody with a T cell count of two. Two T cells. We, people who are healthy in this room, have thousands of T cells. They have a T cell count. Some people have T cell count of two, one. Some people only have T cells. How can you um, see my little questions on there? How do people get infected? Breast milk? Who said breast milk? Smart. No, the yi chi chi. That's true. Breast milk. See, say that again. Semen, blood, vaginal secretions, Victoria's Secret, vaginal secretions. That's right. What else? Nothing else. He, semen, breast milk, blood, and he said vaginal secretions. What are, the, what are the ways that you can transmit it sexually? What are the ways sexually? Oh, don't get scared. Don't get scared to say the word. Say that again. Oral. Oral. What's next? Okay, that's intercourse. It's all like sex. They got oral. What else? Um, protective sex. Oral. And there's two more ways. Vaginal. Mm -hmm. And what else? Anal. Oral, vaginal, and anal. Those are the three unprotected sex ways. I ain't, I ain't making up the words. That's just the truth. You can transmit it through vaginal secretions, semen, blood. Now, what if I cut my hand and all of a sudden I got a cut that's four days old and then I'll run into Jennifer and say, oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> can I transmit HIV that way? Why? Because of who? It dies within 30 seconds. Seconds actually, it dies quicker than that. Soon as blood hits, it's airborne. Soon as it hits air, it's dead. 
You just don't want to go stepping and rubbing and blood and stuff. You don't want to do that. But it's not airborne. It ain't going to jump over here. Women, when women give birth, there is what present when you give birth? Blood. You can pass it that way. When you get pregnant, a lot of they do run, they run a whole bunch of tests to see if you're okay. And at that time, some people find out they're HIV positive because they don't get tested. And then they're at risk for transferring or transmitting HIV to their child through the blood. Because of our technology and just education about the way HIV and AIDS is spread, when a, a pregnant mother, a woman that's pregnant, if she does find out she has HIV or AIDS, she can do some preventative measures that pr protects her child from contracting the disease. How do people get, how don't people get infected? What is that word? I'm sorry, what? Say that a little louder. Because it deserves to be shouted. Give it up for abstinence. Give it up. Some of y'all like clapping because y'all like, mm. You better pray on that. Abstinence is the only way that you cannot get or get HIV and AIDS through sexual contact. Abstinence. It's tough practicing abstinence, isn't it? For those who know. It's, it's tough. It's a piece of cake. Why is it a piece of cake? It's not hard, huh? Stick to it. Thank you. Stick to it. No, I'm not having sex. No, I'm not doing it. I don't know you like that. Mm -mm. How else can you protect yourself? Say you're what, during sex. How can you protect yourself? Oh, so, I'm sorry, what's that word? Uh, okay. Is it, uh, shall I use latex or plastic or saran wrap? Latex. Why latex? Y'all laugh, but it's been done. Saran wrap, plastic baggies. I ain't right. It ain't right. It's wrong. Why? Why latex? It's stronger, like like glad glad garbage bags. How how how? Why is it stronger? Why is it stronger? More resistant. Um, if you use something other than latex, I'm telling you, HIV and AIDS, it ain't no joke. Uh, uh, even semen, they have run right through them condoms. It be gone. It's over. How else? How else? We also forgot to say you can, how you can transmit HIV and AIDS to uh, one person to the next is through drugs like needles, using needles, sharing needles. That ain't smart because when you pull the needle out, blood's coming too. And then say, oh, I, somebody might say, well, I can't afford a needle. I'm just going to use this one. You're putting their blood right into your bloodstream. Now, to keep yourself protected, if you have to share needles, which you don't, because now they have many things in the community where you have a free um, needle exchange. You turn in your dirty needles, they give you a new needle. They do have that. So what about cleaning your needles? Say, for instance, a, a parent or, or a, a friend, a cousin, an uncle, aunt, they have diabetes, they need to inject themselves with insulin. They can't afford to get needles all the time. What you can tell them is that they need to flush their needles, bleach in water six to seven times over and over and over and over again to clean that needle. Water, water, bleach, bleach, water, water. <laughs> Getting tested. We just saw the video. There are three ways to get tested, correct? How? What are the, what are the types of testing? Blood, blood from the prick, from the finger. What else? The orc, mouth swab. What else? And just taking the blood. It's anonymous. You could do it anonymous. You can go in there and say, uh-huh, um, you know, I want to get tested. They'll, okay, your number is 7, 5, 12, 13, 15, 24, come back in a week, we'll tell you, it's that easy. I have been tested like numerous times. Reason being is I go with somebody who's scared. Okay, I'm married, so I, you know, I can do what I can do. I take them with me and I was like, come on, it's easy. Do, 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 do. It's that easy. Don't just get tested and say, oh, I went and got tested, but don't go back and find out what your results are. Don't do that, because that ain't helping. And don't think, oh, I'm gonna donate blood and then I'm gonna find out. No, you, you don't wanna find out that way either. Somebody call you at your house. Yeah, we need to, we need to uh, screech your blood because it's, it's positive. Don't do it that way. Don't do it that way. Go anonymous. It's free. Now, we all know we like free. <laughs> free. I like free. Educate yourselves. Like, like what we're doing today. Educate yourselves. You might think you know all you know about HIV. Oh, I already know about HIV and AIDS and stuff. Read. Educate someone else. If you hear somebody on the corner talking about, mm-hmm, you can't get it that way, say, uh-uh, I'm sorry, mm-mm. 
these two ladies came and spoke to me. They was cute, two cute little ladies came and spoke to us and told me this. This, uh-uh, you can't do that. Say, uh-uh, you can't, you can't be out there unprotected sex. Ladies, this is a fine brother. Uh, he a senior in high, in high school. He played basketball and stuff. Drive a nice truck. Okay, got a good job. No babies. And some rims, some 20s, 25s, and some bass. Ladies, he roll up to you after the basketball game, holla at you, talking about you cute and whatnot. Y'all want to take you out. Excuse me, miss. Yeah, come on out. You know what I'm saying? That's what he wants to do. You going to go out with him, and you falling in love and stuff like that. You only know him for a couple of days, but he's spending things on you and stuff. You think this is the one, right? You think this is the one. Now, he want to go a little further. I ain't known you for a week now. You know, we're getting all close. Why don't we make this and go to another level? You know, you and me. Have sex. What you gonna tell him, ladies? What you gonna tell him? You fine and stuff, but what? What are we gonna tell him? No, you straight? Keep on pushing. What, ladies? What hotel you gonna go? Is that a, that's a, you know, you not slick, baby. What do you tell, I mean, do you trust him? He nice, he got a good job, he come from good people. Mm -hmm. What's your what? Wow. Say it what? We can we go to the clinic? I loves you too, but let's get tested. You don't know him from Adam Eve, nothing. You don't know Steve, you don't know, you don't know who he is. That's for the ladies, but fellas, she fine. Okay, it's her real hair. It's her real hair down her back. Real hair. Banging. Beyonce, like bam. She got a good job, no kids, you know what I'm saying? Doing good. She 4.0 in school. <sighs> she is a good girl. And then after a week, I know you so long, I know it's such a week, and I love you, Tony. <laughs> Let's take this to the next level. Let's have sex. <laughs> Fellas. Yeah, word? Yeah. Fellas, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? We're gonna make her, are we gonna make her your girl? What are you gonna do? I'm sorry, I can't hear, I hear some, <laughs> I'm gonna take her, huh? In the back of the truck? Oh, that's so, but she a good girl. What y'all gonna do, fellas? College fellas, what are you gonna do? She does your homework. What are you gonna do, fellas? Fellas, what are you gonna do? She fine, Beyonce fine. Y'all ain't gonna let that pass? What y'all gonna do? Oh, y'all ain't gonna do nothing, huh? You're just gonna sit there. Buy a condom? Oh, he, wait, you said buy a condom. First step, buy a condom. What else? What else you want to do? Always keep one with you if you don't have it with you at that time. What, anything else? Oh, oh, take her with you to go get tested. But Tony, I'm a good girl. I've, I'm a virgin. Whew. Huh? What you asking me to do? Oh, man. Go, go take her to the clinic. She might be Beyonce fine, but take her to the clinic. You don't know her that well. She might be fine, but she could be hurting inside. <laughs> Question, go ahead. Murder? Oh, good, good. Way to, way to go to get into my next session. We're here, we're here. If you know that you're HIV positive, and you're still having unprotected sex with people, and you do not tell them, oh, that's murder. Cause, Cause they eventually gonna die. Yeah, it's a law. If you are infecting people with HIV and AIDS and you know that you have HIV and you don't tell them, that's what, 15? 15 to life, what? 25, oh, whoop, whoop, 25. You're going to prison. You're going to serve a sentence for killing someone. Premeditated murder. Also, if you want to talk about mm -hmm, a shinkache in them, um, I heard a shinkache and, and um, a shinkache got a HIV. Girl, yup. Mm -hmm, talking about a shinkache. A shinkache ain't got no HIV or AIDS. But because you're spreading that rumor, that's defamation of character. And you're going to jail too. And you're going to pay a nice $5,000 fine. Oh, yeah. Talking about folk. Oh, this, that's real gossip right there. That's real gossip. Mm -hmm. Don't do it. Back in the day, it was uh, years ago, maybe about five years ago, at one of the local clubs somewhere. Um, the club's not here anymore. There was a guy walking around. I wasn't at the club. I just heard. I was walking around. Um, there's a guy walking around. He was HIV positive, infected. 
had his blood, had blood vial and a needle. Walker, you know, the club, you know, the club be tight. You know, if it's a good night, it's club be tight. And that's how you're trying to get through. Can't get through the crowd. Oh, he was tight, poking people. <laughs> poking them. Poking them, infecting them with HIV. So you at the club getting it. Oh, you getting it. You getting it all right. <laughs> you getting it all right. You're getting infected with HIV. You put your drink down. <laughs> Girl, this is my song. Ooh. You go back for that drink. Why, college kids? Why? Don't go back to the drink. Doop, 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 doop. All up in here, you walking around looking crazy. And somebody you thought was cute mm -hmm, took you home and had unprotected sex. You don't even know that person's name. Ain't cute no more. I know. It was cute then, not cute there. She's going to talk to you a little bit about uh, alcohol and drugs, how it affects your mind frame, and how you can get HIV and AIDS. Someone tell me why. The big reason why HIV, oh, drugs and alcohol can affect your judgment. Okay. Someone tell me why drugs and alcohol can impair your judgment. <laughs> it's poison. My pastor thinks so. But my pastor. But what other why else is drugs and alcohol impairing judgments of young people? Weed, marijuana, puff puff give. <laughs> How does it impair? You be high. You high. High as the sky. How does that impair your judgment? Your mind right. not in the right place and you hungry, very hungry. Y'all know about your money. talking in your ear, trying to get you to do what they want you to do. Marijuana. And would you, would you, you know how they pass the marijuana back and forth? Back and forth. You in the All up in here. Do you know these people? <laughs> do you know that they can have herpes of the mouth? Uh, you can get, ugh, yeah, you can get infected. <laughs> College students. We talked, we just talked about marijuana and reefer, but college students, we go to college parties. I'm a senior, so it's been four years of partying. <laughs> but there's a lot of drug, a lot of alcohol, a lot of beers. And I'll give you a little, shoot you a little statistic that I found on a Center for Disease Control. One in five college students have some type of STD or HIV and AIDS. So it's, it's real easy. I'm going to a party and I see my future boo. And he, ooh, Lord, he buy me drinks. He giving me drinks. My amaretta sours and all that good stuff, yeah. And I have like five of them and I go home with him and we have sex. But I wasn't really thinking straight. My judgment was impaired. And so, you know, a couple of months from now, I go get tested and wow. I have HIV or AIDS. And so people can get their, in, in, their judgment impaired real easily. And so the best way to prevent that from happening is to be aware not only of yourself and the people around you, but your, your outer surroundings. And know that just knowledge is the power. Just know that it is possible. And you, you really don't know those people. Let me tell y'all something. Yeah, you got a question? Go ahead, babe. You, you, I'm just saying, you don't know what you can get from passing back and forth. Sharon lip gloss? Uh, you may not get HIV and AIDS, but, but you can get herpes that way. Don't share lip gloss, lipstick, Carmex, Blistex, Vaseline, don't share it. If they, don't, if they got chapped lips, you tell them, go to the nurse. They can hook you up. Don't share nothing. But that's my girl. Okay. Let me tell you something about STDs. STI, sexually transmitted infections. 79% of college students on college campuses across the United States are infected with herpes. You know that commercial with the uh, Valtrex with the blue pill? And they're swimming and rowing and they're shooting basketball. Mmm, let me tell you, they not that happy. 
it's a lot of college students infected with herpes. Herpes, this is something you cannot cure with a pill or some grape juice or some cranberry juice. You just can't drink that and let it go away. Some of, a lot of, lot of the students who are infected with it don't even know. They don't know they have it. So they just infecting you and infecting you and infecting you. Herpes is no joke. I have pictures, but I'm not going to show y'all because it'll scare y'all. Herpes is no joke. You can get herpes on the leg. You can get herpes anywhere. You can get herpes here on your mouth. You can get herpes in the vaginal secretions area. This, and it ain't cute. And y'all, I'm telling you, she, she ain't lying. STD, other STIs. Chlamydia, gonorrhea, HPV, human papilloma, warts, HPV, virus. That ain't, that ain't cute. You can't get rid of those either. Little cauliflower-like um, sores. Mm -hmm. Herpes are like like little clear, like they're like, ew, ew. I remember speaking to this one lady, what was a lady or so. She was infected, and her, the, her first outbreak, she said it was like somebody taking knives and just <laughs> Yeah, that ain't, that ain't, that, that's not nice at all. So before you think about having unprotected sex in the dark, turn them lights on. See what you work with. If you love that person, you know them well enough to give your body to them, you better make sure they care about you. Do they care if you live or die? Do you think they do? They got what they wanted, they got what they wanted and then they're, you're infected. So you, they on their way. Drinking, smoking, using illegal drugs, you be out of there. You never know. Mm -hmm. Along with... Um there are extreme cases, like she described with HPV, with cauliflower, and just being looking like she's cut up. But men and women can have an STI, any STI, and not have any symptoms. Men and women, usually more women have come up and, and sh they sh have symptoms on their body, even sores or scars or whatever. But even in men, it's more prevalent that they don't have any symptom and symptoms. So it, it's just that more important to know or to attempt to know who you are engaging in, in sexual behavior with, get tested. Women that are 18 years and up, they recommend that you get tested at least once a year, once a year. And so just keep those things in mind when those issues come up, those, the opportunities for those particular behaviors come up. Risky, not risky behavior. Let's see what y'all know. <clears throat> heavy petting. And if you want to know what heavy petting, heavy touching. I have my underclothes on. We're not having sex. <laughs> risky or not risky? risky? Wait, wait, what? Risky? risky? Not risky. Who said not risky? Why? Why is it not risky? You just touch it. Why is it risky? Touching can lead to the, to the real thing. Some hot mess. It can, it can lead to it. Risky or not risky? Um, French kissing. Risky. <laughs> I'm, okay, okay, not risky, why? A kiss is just a kiss. Not enough. Risky? Why you say risky? Whoa, say that loud. Let, let's, let's hear. What? Mm. If you have a cut in your mouth, we don't know what dental work going on in their mouth. They could have cut the, uh, bit their tongue watching you. Uh, <laughs> bleeding all over. Had ble they could have bleeding gums. Y'all just think, I just kissed him. That's okay. It's okay. He loves me. Not only that, it's most likely for a person, two people to be kissing and to, you know, give HIV back to one another if they both have a sore in their mouth. You just one person, it's still, you know, you still want to get checked. But if one person only has a sore in their mouth, an open sore, gums are bleeding, so forth, and the other person doesn't, it's kind of the, the, the percentages are, are lower. But there are also other things that they can contract besides HIV and AIDS, other infections. She talked about herpes of the mouth, chl chlamydia in the mouth, gonorrhea in the mouth, HPV in the mouth. So our focus is HIV and AIDS, but just be aware that there are other sexual transmitted infections that are just as risky as HIV. And again, yeah, saliva is not one of the fluids that you, we state that you, trans, you can transfer to HIV and AIDS. Because it takes about one quart of saliva. That's a long time. You, you ain't got nothing to do but do that all day long. I mean, it's a long time. Risky or not risky? Um, hi, my name is Renee. What's your name? Stephanie. 
Risky or not risky? No, not, risky. not risky. It depends what? If you have a cut on your hand. And if she has open cut in her hand? But the blood, what about the blood? If we, hopefully we're not doing this. Get your blood up in you. No. Hopefully we're not doing that. But you can still, people who are infected with HIV and AIDS, you can hug them, you can still kiss them, you can shake their hand. You can do a lot of things with them. You don't want to use the same utensils with anybody, really. Oh, girl, let me get some of that drink. Uh -uh. Not that you're going to get HIV and AIDS, but you, got, you can get a lot of other things. Don't share your drinks. What about using a water fountain, risky or not risky? risky. How? <laughs> you said there's some nasty people out there. I want to think, what they trying, they, they just trying to get some water. They, I, well, the thing is, if the water coming out is not going to be risky, but I would recommend you not put your mouth all over the water thing. Just let the water flow. Just get you some water flow. What about, what about, what about uh, smoking marijuana? Risky. Not risky. Why? Yeah, put him on camera and show his mama. You said not risky. <laughs> not risky, why? It don't have enough saliva. Well, risky, could it be risky that you get so high that you wouldn't be able to know what you're doing and you could have unprotected sex? I'm going to go with risky on that player. I'm going to go with risky. What about, what about, what about oral sex? Risky or not risky? How? Possibly, yeah, that's right. And, and, but they also have, right, that could be risky, but they also have dental dams, which is a latex sheet. You can protect yourself. So there are things that are going to be risky. So don't use saran wrap. No plastic baggies. Don't try to protect yourself. Do, don't Costco bags. No, no, my bags. Don't try to reuse this. If, how many times should you use a latex condom? One. I'm sorry, did somebody say 15 times? Excuse me. One. Once. Why once? I thought we were going to recycle. <laughs> Don't use it but one time. One time. Do not use more than one. You don't need two or three of them, bad boys. One. One. Any questions that you might have to answer? Go ahead. Um, well, I, I was about the, uh, the STDs or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, I ne this is my first time hearing the word clap. What kind the of clap? Chlamydia? Chlamydia? Oh, okay. Clap, isn't that the short word for clap? Clap. Mm HPP, -hmm. human papilloma virus. Like I said, they're little cauliflower-like sores that will appear where you're infected. That's HPV, and that's incurable. You can have it in your mouth, yes. Question in the back. What are some symptoms of? Of anything? Um, you know, like some type of odd discharge could be a major symptom have a high fever it may not just be the flu it may not be a cold but if if you know your body as as adults and young adults should know their body they know when something's not right don't just brush it off oh, i'll get better i'm gonna drink some tea no that's not gonna happen you need to go see a doctor any other questions most stds and hiv and AIDS specifically a person does not always have symptoms and so you do know your body, and you do know the, the behavior you engaged in. And so it's, you know, your, your choice, your decision to go get some type of test done. Sore throat? I mean, it could be a symptom for anything. Like, I have a sore throat now. But I think that's because I slept in some air, you know, some air. It could be a symptom for anything. You never know. It could be strep throat. You're not sure. Question? Well, you don't want yeast infections, but I'm, I'm saying, yeah. I mean, it, it could be a myth. I mean, you'd have to ask a doctor, but the thing is, you know, they always tell you, you know, tight pants is a myth also. I mean, tight pants could cause yeast infections or, you know, you know how these days, you can, but you never know. You got to ask your doctor about that. Question. Mm -mm. They might be cute. You can go to, um, you can talk to us afterwards also, but any type of health official, nurse in the school or whatever, you can talk to them about yeast infections. And women get, I'm just going to let you know, women get yeast infections a common thing. It's nothing like, oh, my God, I'm about to go pray in the church and all that good stuff. But it's something that you also should be aware of. There are 
drinking too much beer, and you high school students. Y'all shouldn't drink beer in the first place. We can talk later about that, okay? Next, any more questions? Any more questions? Not, no question. No question is a dumb question, yeah. How do you get chlamydia in your mouth? Yeah, um, oral sex? Any other questions? Any other questions? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, you guys have girls come into a school. Yes. And test all the kids for. How, have we ever came into a school? Do the Grand Rapids Public Schools um, and their policy and procedures? No. They have their own. Um, we, we may do some something like this. I did something at Ottawa Hills uh, this past year, but no, because because of parent and young adult. Uh, you know, minors and whatnot. They, that's why we, we try to promote them to do that on their own. Mm -hmm. Question. I know y'all got some questions. No, but don't like, mm, I don't want to ask that. I'm scared. Any other question? Yes, sir. Like expectancy? expectancy? Yeah. Um, it depends, depending on if they're not, the life expectancy, you can live, you can live a long time if you take care of yourself, if you're on the proper medication, but you never know. Some people don't get tested for years, and then they die, and they never know. And then they find out when you know there's like an autopsy done or something. But you can't, you know, magic is living. But he also takes care of himself. You never know. Just like people who are healthy, we never know when we're gonna come and go. Question. Well, STD, it just it it, it gets. If you if you if you got a, a, a STD, if you got a STD and you never got treated, what would happen? You just get worse and worse. You never know. Some STDs like chlamydia and whatnot, um, ladies, you can be infertile for the rest of your life. You will never be able to have a baby. You get cervical cancer, uterine cancer. That's what happens. You always, I mean, you been, if you've been walking around for six months to a year like this, it's will go away. I swear it will. No, go in. Question. Can you get that cauliflower thing on your hand, like right here somewhere? You can, that, that's more of like a wart. It's like, it's not, it's not the, it's not, it's like a wart, wart on your hand. It may or may not be. You have to go get tested for it. No, that's HPV, human papilloma virus. Any other questions before we, two more, one in the back. How long it takes to go away? As soon as you start taking that medication. As soon as the target making that medication, you just look at me. Question. STDs that can be transmitted through oral sex, but what about it's AIDS? You said it was one of them, right? AIDS. Yes, you can get you can transmit HIV through oral sex. We know all of those bodily fluids are are visible. They are there during oral sex, anal sex, vaginal sex. Any other questions before we roll? Say that again. Any other questions? One more. Uh, um, um, the tall side chapter of Delta Sigma Theta at Hope College, we're having a, a various events going on in November leading up to World AIDS Day, which is December 1st. And so if you have, you want information, feel free to talk to me or log on to our website, talk to any one of us, or we can give that information to your teachers and stuff. Just remember that, you know, you see this on TV all the time, respect yourself, protect yourself. That's real. Respect yourself. It's you. This is your life. Nobody cares about nobody cares about your life more than you or your mom and daddy. So respect yourself. Make the right decisions. Make proper choices. Do not do risky behavior. Make the proper choices. Thank you, and we're going to give it over to Mr. Selman. Okay. Uh, folks, one word describes those two: Jennifer and Renee. Awesome. Would you agree? Give him a hand. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. Thanks for coming in. Uh, Delta Sigma Theta always does a great job at Grand Rapids Community College. So uh, Central High School staff, we want to say thank you. Students, you guys were awesome today. Great questions, everything. We definitely would invite you back next year. We've got plenty of other